Hey, what's up, guys? It is Slick or Slick Muff here, back again with another video. And uh, I just uploaded this video at midnight. And um, actually, the person that tweeted out the image uh, initially, you need to watch the video if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you haven't seen it yet. I'll link it in the description below if I remember, or just go to my channel. It's the second most recent video. Um, so this guy from GameSpot tweets out this image, kind of teasing a Batman reveal tomorrow. And um, on my little channel, you know, relative in, in the grand scheme of things, very small, um, you know, it got over a thousand views in less than 20 minutes at midnight. Granted, I'm uploading at midnight. That's 5 a.m. in Europe, uh, 6 a.m., depending on where you are. In, you know what I mean? So, like, an astounding amount of views considering the time I'm uploading the video instantly. And then I read the comments, and the fact of it is, you know, uh, the fans want Batman. The fans want Superman. Uh, people don't care about Hitman. I mean, I like. I, I'm not. I'm not even trying to be like. Uh, sort of understanding of the other side anymore because, like, I listen to other people. They're like, people are excited for Hitman, and it is great. Blah blah blah. blah. It's like no, it, it doesn't even compare. Like the the excitement level for Hitman versus Batman and Superman, it's literally on a different level. The hype for Rocksteady's next game compared to Hitman 2, it's not even in the same. Uh, you know, it's just like, you, you can't even compare it, really. You know, Hitman 2, there's like, uh, there's not even a niche fan base, honestly. There's just like a few people that are kind of like, eh, I'll play it, blah, 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 you know. But the hype for Batman or Superman is, a, is you know, out of this world. So the fact of it is, your fans want Batman and Superman. Um, it's just weird because WB is a private company, right? And private companies usually like to make money for their shareholders. And it seems like the quickest way for them to make money is to make games that fans actually want. Uh, and the Batman Arkham franchise, their most successful franchise that they've had since 2009. Uh, you know, they could make another one of those games. They can make Superman, the most popular fictional character ever created in the history of mankind, make a game for him. Huh, that could work. <laughs> you know? Uh, it's just, wow. Um, but no, Hitman 2, which is fine. It'll make money. It probably won't lose money. Will it make as much as Superman? Uh, not even close. Will it make as much as Batman? Uh, not even close. The excitement level is just completely different. And... Um, it would be astounding to me if they didn't announce something tomorrow. But, anyway, people say I sound entitled. I'm not entitled, but as a fan, I also have the right to voice my um, disinterest in Hitman 2. Like, me saying that I don't care about Hitman 2 and I want other games isn't me being entitled. It's just me saying I don't care about Hitman 2. And by the way, um, I'm not saying that I'm in the majority of people that don't care about Hitman 2, but a lot of people really want Batman and Superman. And if we're to pick up a tally of, you know, who's more excited for Batman or Superman or Hitman, and I'm not saying we can't get all three. I'm saying we should get all three. I'm not saying that we should replace one for the other. I'm not saying Hitman shouldn't exist and Superman should. I'm saying that they all should exist because that's what the fans want. And as fans, if we don't get what we're interested in getting, we have the right to say that we don't care about what they're revealing and that we're bored and we're not going to buy their games. That's not being entitled. That's just voicing our opinion with our wallet. <laughs> That's literally all it is. Like, you're not going to hear me in the next six months leading up to Hitman 2, like, making a trash talk video every day and, like, every new video they drop be like, oh, this sucks, where's Superman? No, I'm just not going to buy the game. And a lot of other people aren't going to. And we're just not going to talk about it. Whereas if Superman came out, we would all be lining up outside, you know, GameStop at midnight for the game. It's just two different levels of anticipation. They went down one route. Um, and we'll see tomorrow if they're going down a different route. The one that fans actually want them to go down. So anyway, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed the video. <sighs> tomorrow is the big day. Batman or Superman could be there. They could not be. Um... At this point, there's no, uh, there honestly is no point in even hypothesizing what the odds are. It's just a matter of waiting. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the upload video. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll like, like I said, get some sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.